like to share with you one of the ways how you can truly become an outstanding teacher. And I'm talking about competition versus collaboration. Now, we live in a very competitive society, as many societies are. You pick up the business section, it's really about competition, as the sports section is about competition. There's no doubt that competition improves performance. We will have uh, band members in a, in a high school band practice for hours to improve, and they do improve, basically through the competitive spirit. I know from my own life's experience, I mentioned I play the Great Hunt Bagpipes, and I play a type of music I mentioned called Pibrach. It's a classical music of the Highland bagpipe. Only about 8% of pipers play this type of music. There's no way that I would have spent hours, I think my wife said years, learning how to play this type of music if I was not going to compete. There is no doubt that competition improves performance. The question is, does competition improve learning? So it starts out with self-talk as I emphasize, in the kindergarten or first grade. And this kid's self-talk is, when the teacher calls on me, I often don't get the answer right. And she can read better than I can. And he can draw better than I can. And he, he can even play a musical instrument. If the kid feels that he is never in the winner circle, do you think this kid is going to want to compete or mentally drop out? And my point is, especially since we've got what used to be kindergarten, where kids are playing together and learning how to get along with each other and learning how to adapt socially, instead, we're putting economic activities down on them when these kids, so many of them are boys, are not cognitively mature enough to handle what we are asking them to do. And what happens is the self-talk is, I'd rather drop out because I'm never in the winner's circle. And my bet is that in the years from now, we're going to look back and say, how were we so foolish to put academics down with kids who are not mature enough? My way of example, you know, Finland has some, some of the highest international scores in, in the world. And I visited Finland schools for 10 days. They don't start their, their academics until reading until the kids are in the second grade. What they do is they promote responsibility. From a very young age, these kids are taught to be responsible. And that's why their society and their school system are so effective. In contrast to what we do, we aim at teaching obedience. And don't motivate the kids to want to become responsible. 